Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan. My name is Saiken and I'm going to introduce to you a way of playing XCOM with only two soldiers at a time. I hope we're going to kind of uh, do the full run and actually beat the game on legendary Iron Man. It's currently month number five and we are at mission number 18, I think. Another guerrilla ops mission for us. South Africa looks dire with a very difficult um, option there. I really don't like it. West Africa has a low profile side trap, which means you can only take sergeants or lower. Our soldiers are higher than that, so it automatically disqualified itself despite offering an engineer, which we quite desperately need. Anyways, the only thing that was left open is East Africa, and look at that. Squad size limit to three. That's perfect, because we're anyways bringing only two. So um, it is going to be time for Magister and Roby to intensify their bond and also show us how the two of them can actually work as a great team together. It's my favorite combination uh, so far for the two-man run um, because it offers a lot of versatility and a lot of durability. So let's see if uh, we can actually pull it off. Uh, gotta hack a workstation and the mission itself was considered difficult. Plus, um, we're currently, if my memory serves me well, uh, having forced reinforcements per run. So there is going to be an additional pack of reinforcements once we do the hack. Uh, that is definitely going to happen. At least one pack uh, because of a dark event that's currently running. Which means it is not unlikely that we're going to look at 15 enemies. And 2 versus 15 is quite a deed. Also, being in months uh, number five or even six, uh, I think we're going to face some more advanced enemies now. And look at that, we started at the cemetery. That's actually quite great. Beautiful, we got some high ground here. That's super because uh, Roby has um, death from above. There's some more high ground here for even more death from above. And oh, that's easy to hack. Hmm, not too bad. I like the map layout. Moving the designated position. Well, he's taking high ground as he's supposed to. Well, he continues to move up. Hostile targets in sight. Oh, stun lancers. Not good. Yeah, mechs and stun lancers. That's really not good. I can do that. Moving in fast. Apparently running over the rooftop seems to be the fastest way. And look at this. Beautiful. They will engage soon. Oh, stay there. Well, that's bad. It's the opposite of stay there. Oh, gosh. Alright. So, we need to deal with the Mac and the Sun Monster. And the way I would like to deal with it is we're going to soften up the Stun Lancer, then kill it, then transfer our teamwork over. I don't know if we should already use teamwork. Hmm. If we kill the Stun Lancer, if we take the Stun Lancer, then parry, then kill the Stun Lancer, Roby gets untouchable, which only means and gets a second shot. Which means he might be able to fend off the mech whilst um, the whilst Magister is parrying the attack from from the trooper down here. So let's start. 
by actually attacking the Sun Lancer and see how much damage we would do. That's not enough. That's definitely not enough. Problem is, uh, he has an art point of armor. So we're going to parry. We are furthermore, by the way, what is the heck? Just double checking. Should have checked at the beginning. Well, apparently the hack is nothing. <laughs> We're going to try that again. There we go. Yeah, that would have been great. But currently it is not necessary. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to teamwork. We have nothing to fear. We are continuing to rent. Alright. I didn't make it through. Sunlands is almost down. Let's kill the Stone Lancer. That triggers death from above. Head trigger is good. Advent Data Pad is also very, very good. So there's the death from above, which allows us an. and untouchable, by the way. Which allows us an extra shot. The trooper currently would. both of them would shoot at Roby, which is not the desired outcome. So, I guess what we would want to do is actually let's position ourselves here. The reason why I want to position myself here is we already have parry um, because after the first hit we parried, then we teamworked, which means if we're moving ourselves to here, Bladestorm is going to kick in. So if we just hit this guy once, just once, the Bladestorm will kill him. Alright, wait for it guys, it's going to be fun. That's the parry. Nice, nice, alright. There's the Bladestorm. Okay, so far so good. We're only turn in and it already looks like a very dramatic fight. Good, we're going to parry here. Also Bladestorm. Um, I think I want to reload and just take a shot. Bladestorm will kill him. Enemies are down. Took us two turns to take out the enemies. Can move over here and take a hack. Well, that's not too bad. Let's move into full cover first. Oh shit. Spectres. That's actually bad news. Like really bad news. I hate them. It's just uh, side vision, right? Soldier's vision increased by two. Yeah. It's not squad side, unfortunately. Alright, 
my suggestion is we're going to aid protocol we're still okay i want to uh, utilize the high ground and we're going to overwatch we know that this guy here has lightning reflexes he will move first and the first shot onto this guy will miss anyways or he just vanishes That's a mind spin, which is going to be resisted because we are immune. That's going to be a shot into full cover plus. No, it's actually not. Looks like they called in backup. Ooh, wow. Hmm, we are at a difficult spot. Still enough time, but we need to move. Let's take the shot and hope we're going to get a refund. Here we go. Very nice. Death from above kicks in. Come on, come on. Nice. Very solid. Let me show you a little trick if you see that um, that reinforcements arrive and you do have Bladestorm. The correct play is to just wait there, overwatch and see them land, because this is what happens to reinforcements. Okay guys, I think it's clear. Let's go out. Oh fuck, it is not clear. And now the fun begins. Uh, reinforcements never take shots immediately, they always run for cover. And running triggers blade uh, storm. So that's a hit, that's yet another hit, and you would have guessed it, damn right, a hit. Yeah. Is that going to be a horror or a shot? Shot. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, damn, damn well played. That was good. Anyways, we're going to take a heal. Wait a second. Uh, not yet. Okay, lots of decent shots. We are short on ammunition though. So we still are okay, time, timing wise. Next turn I need to move. So let's make this count. 90%, come on. Great little kill, good job. Death from above, kicks in. Come on. Death from above, kicks in. By the way, guess what? We have softened up all of the targets beforehand. Perfect setup. Death from above kicks in. Oh my lord! We could take a healing, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we want to make sure that this guy suffers severely. We can't kill him unless we crit, because now that he moves away, Lightning Reflexes unfortunately also trigger for uh, Bladestorm. It's just, it's unfortunate. Now Shadowbound happens. Yeah, I figured.
As long as he doesn't vanish, we are okay. Yeah, we're we're okay. That's easy peasy. Okay, we need to hurry up. The objective always comes first, so reloading and healing need to wait. Still not in range. Come on, Roby. You know you can do that. What's over there? Objective here. All right. Now it's in range. We're still not going to heal. I want to reload first. Next turn is the last turn. I want to make sure we're correctly set up. Alright. Heck the workstation. Permanent uh, increase. Enemy protocol. Come on, game. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. successful acquisition of the advent files eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area I want to take high ground because it had worked incredibly well but since we currently don't need to fight let's do the following we're going out of line of sight of everything okay. to here we're going to heal up get everything ready and that's fine. Still can take the high ground. They will investigate what's happening. Currently we don't have a timer. There we go. Get the gremlin heal going. Very good. Very good. Strong showing. I do not assume that we need to heal that much more, just in case. The reason why I'm uh, continuing to heal is the amount of hit maximum hit points that the person loses per mission determines how long they will be out of uh, cover, uh, out of service. In case he gets hit again, I just want to make sure um, we're not losing too many hit points because that will take longer recovery times. And look at that. Lightning Reflex is gone. Yeah, take a shot and hit, hit. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. So, I was wondering... Um, we're probably going to see a shield next, which means let's kill I'm, I'm you here. the shadow first. Nice, a critical hit for 10.
There we go. We're just going to parry. There will be one shield, one shot. He's going to shield up. And that's going to be a shot. Or a grenade. Yeah, I figured. We're standing too close together. My bad. Luckily, it's just a normal grenade so far. Alright, let's move into full cover. Okay, I'll go. You will pay the price. Shield is removed. Seventy five percent chance to kill him. There we go. I got it, right? Could use some ammo over here. And we're going to parry. Roby got untouchable at the moment because he has killed someone last turn. Me. So far, so good. I think we're making progress. Reloading. Let's take a shot. And let's parry. Nice little blade storm attack. Almost got him down. It's another parry. And this should be the end of the mission. Status confirmed. Very good. Hadn't been 15, but it had been 13. And I think overall the mission went well, I would suppose. Could use a couple more cooldowns, but we're still... like The combination of the two actually works out quite well. And there's still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, I played some of uh, the scenarios quite well. The la last engagement with the pot I probably could have played a little bit better. I was really getting the shadow and did not realize uh, that I would put at least two people uh, too close to one another. Otherwise, we wouldn't have taken any damage. So the whole parry untouchable combination definitely works out quite well so far. I really appreciate it. The wounding time on the other side is not necessarily as much appreciated. Laser side good, hair trigger okay, data pad definitely good, couple of corpses, yeah, I think overall nice. And we got signal jamming countered, signal jamming increased the scanning time by 100% for four, uh, for four weeks, so that was good. Yeah, I think overall an okay mission. It shouldn't be too hard on myself. I think uh, the actual play was okay. It was okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, let's consider. We need some supplies, definitely, and we need alloys next. So let's start with the supply. Ah, no. Let's start with the scientist. Or well, let's continue with the scientist, then do the supplies and then the alloys. Gotta get our sixth, scient uh, sixth scientist in. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Don't need additional supplies there. Very soon we got blue screen rounds and we need money for it. Avenger plotting new course. I think I could have predicted this outcome. 
Cool. With uh, the Viper, we get Battlefield Medicine, which is super helpful for just healing. I'm still not going for Psionics, no matter how much the game teases me. We need a couple more Larium Crystals and we got the Intel to afford it. And Larium really blocks, uh, blocks our way forward. So for now, let's do the Advent Data Pad. Could be a, fact, a factory uh, a um, lead in it. We're going to go to the black market. Yeah, let's go to the black market because I really want to get uh, the Alarium uh, started. We need a weapon upgrade to plasma weapons. So we're buying Alarium crystals. Could get a sharpshooter. It's not bad. Spear conditioning also pretty pretty damn good. Superior scope very very good. But we're starting with Alarium, which we will need. I think the alien alloys are also quite helpful. But I want to save some intel to in the in, in the rare uh, event uh, that we can actually continue expanding. Um, yeah, we're fine for now. We are and the cause of this dance. Look at that. Promotion. We got Roby, a nice little promotion. We said we wanted to continue promoting him as well. And we I remember quite clearly that we wanted to continue with the promotion um, further on. Health plus one. Will, yeah, here we had the promotion, 103 supplies, 8 days, I think that's our next uh, target. Mm. I like the whole um, chosen one um, core missions because it will help to in, uh, increase the influence unfortunately they take pretty long i like the idea with the soldier bond but the two soldiers that i would put onto this mission are unfortunately currently not available so we're going for another promotion and we're going to use renven let's just see soldier wounded there's no chance that there is going to be a fight might as well just put him there wait a second we probably need to level him first he's now captain which means next rank is major and then we would be oh bladestorm versus him uh impeccable impeccable um is also pretty pretty good um i'm not sure i mean i like bladestorm as well both of them are actually pretty good and he has 19 ap so we can take both start with implacable And if we were to train him, Renman has 19 points, so might as well use Bladestorm. Bladestorm is actually pretty nice. It makes some of the um, some of the enemies, such as uh, Chrysalis, so much more easy if you uh, if you use it. They come out and you just Bladestorm them. Good. So, gather supplies. Renman will get uh, the promotion. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to put an engineer here. I'm risking, I'm taking the low chance for a soldier that's going to be uh, wounded. It is what it is. We don't have enough engineers, so eight days, let's go. Good job. Back to our research. I want to stress that we need Alarium research quite fast. So let's go. 
and get that. Elarium opens up uh, the heaviest tier of armor, for those of you who don't know it, and the heaviest tier of weapons. So that's actually going to be very helpful for us as we upgrade our weapons. Three more hours and blue screen rounds are done. That's helpful as well. Unsuccessful sabotage. I love to see that. And there, by the way, is the blue screen protocol. EAP grenade, blue screen rounds. Uh, we might want to at least take a look at the skull jack. Not sure yet. The cool part about the skull jack is uh, once we have it, we can reduce uh, the overall timing. Hunter's X is definitely worth it. Uh, it's just an incredibly good weapon. Uh, Shadow Keeper is definitely worth it. Another incredibly good weapon. Uh, Frost Bomb is also worth it. And just really, really good weapons. Spider Suit is very much worth it. Larium Core plus Crystals. I think we're going to go for one spider suit, guys. It's just, it had proven to be so damn good. Plasma grenades could be good as well. Mm. Battlefield medicine. Gosh, so many good uh, things. Normally I can decide quite fast. Oh, and a spark which we will not help us at the moment. So let's go with Plasma Grenade because it's a permanent upgrade. And Battlefield Medicine, we're going to get the Spider Suit eventually. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Good, we need more money, which we're currently getting, to buy at least one blue screen round. Oh, nice. We got our next engineer back. There we go. In only 35 days, we're almost ready. And I am thinking about maybe we're taking the engineer off of the proving grounds. I know it sucks. And it will just make it so much slower but on the flip side 35 days for excavation is also not fun so we're going to continue excavating because we need more buildings there are a couple of them that we're still missing for instance an option to reduce our healing uh, time Good, we got the supplies, 160 in this case. Let's take a look at blue screen rounds. So we still have a couple of upgrades which we haven't gotten yet, that's okay. And blue screen rounds, 75. Yeah. Might as well take two because they are really just incredibly helpful. No reason for us to not take them. There are a lot of uh, robotic enemies at the moment, like the Spectres, which we elsewise can't effectively battle. So, next up, let's go for the Alien Alloys. We are down at to zero Alien Alloys. We need them. There is another high priority mission, an engineer, a specialist, lieutenant rank, which is really, really good, and 79 intel to rescue a resistance agent. Uh, that is helpful. I like it. I like it so much so that we're going to do it. Uh, by the way, if we fail this mission, we're going to lose uh, West Africa, but if we win the mission, there is a lot of stuff that we could get. 
And I'm not afraid about uh, the side trip here, not at all. Big amounts of loss, yeah, Pfft. no shit, bring it on. So yeah, that's going to happen in our next mission. As always, at the end of uh, my videos, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch it. I hope you found enjoyment. I am really liking the run so far. If you like it as well, consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, leave a little comment down below. I see you in the next run. Bye bye.